Right, today, we're going to turn this hub on X4. It comes with like a onboard camera, but it's just micro SD. But we're going to turn this FPV using a little Eshin 3 in 1, 200 milliwatts. But I'm not going to do it. I've removed the props on the guard, unless they just pull off. Um, we're going to take it apart, take this camera out because it's, it'll save weight and then put it back together with that camera in it. There's two screws in there, one each side. Let's start with them. Make sure your battery is in. Well, downstairs. Take that out. <laughs> you should just be able to pull that apart. Don't pull too hard though because the camera connection is there. Right. Inside this is four screws there. Take these out too. should pop out, pull the camera, the little pin there, there. that just comes out, right, and then we can get at the actual camera in it now, and there's the button, camera just pulls out there, board should just lift out, the bottom case off. Oh, there's the positive and negative, which we'll probably use these <coughs> to go to the positive and negative on the new camera. So if we chop it halfway, then there's enough to reconnect it. And plus We've got a little point and shoot now you can use. Just need to be powered with any one ass little oh, or something like that and you can use that for anything. So that's, that's pretty much it for that. Now we'll work out now. We're gonna fit this camera. the new camera and transmitter hopefully they'll stick on there none of the props will touch it and then we'll plug the positive and negative to the wires while we just cut and then we've got a little FPV hubsum and that's the connector what it comes with so we're going to want to attach that to them two wires No, we're going to take these off completely. And then we've got to solder the negative there and the positive to there. Going to need a little hole through the shell. So put it up there. going to solder these wires straight to the board right, we can fit the tray back in the battery tray back in the bottom but so. click it back together Click them back in, it works if you just bend the motor out slightly and then it clicks back in nice. And stick these two screws back in. I think it's going to work alright anyway. But 
hopefully I just don't get no um, signal noise coming through the FPV feed. If it doesn't, I have to mount a little external battery and attach that straight to the camera, a tiny one, or put an LC filter in the way, like in this path or on the wiring, and that should solve the problem as well. So, yeah, let's see. I think I just used a little bit of foam tape to stick the camera on top now. I might as well put props. Well, um, I'll leave the props off a minute and test the signal noise first, but that's it pretty much done. And with that taken out now, it don't record the best anyway, so that's probably about the same weight as that, maybe a little, that's a little tiny bit heavier. But you haven't affected it too much, so I'm gonna charge the battery a little bit. Let's so make test it anyway, at least. Got my props on the wrong way. Go on that pin. You can see it. Full throttle, and I'm not getting no ESC interference. So that's awesome. That's you can see. Yeah, that's turn my props around and give it a little test. So, yeah, I'm piecing some footage now of the flight, it went well, so, yep, that's it, I'm going to put my guard back on, just because it makes it more fun than if I crash in the house I can keep going, it should keep me in the air longer if I'm going to guard in it. One finished FPV thing. FPV Epson X4. <laughs> thing. <coughs> yep, there is the new FPV that go on the wall. So I'm gonna clip. <laughs> 